Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to pop on this morning because not much has gotten done on the bus. Still waiting for the electricity to um, get wrapped up and be able to be fully functional. Um, so there hasn't been a lot of videos of progress on the bus because there, well, hasn't been any progress on the bus. So not that I can control anyway. So basically, I figured I'd make a video of insuring the bus and registering the bus. How that process went because that was a while back when I first got the bus and I see it a lot asked on the pages and everything like that. So I will tell you what I went through because everybody's story is different. Every state and has its own laws and regulations. Um, luckily, I have a Class A license, so I wasn't worried about um, actually driving the bus, but I'm pretty sure like once it's a personal use bus, you're not using it commercially anyway. You don't have to have a commercial driver's license in order to um, drive your bus. Um, so that was never an issue with me. That was never really a concern with me as far as that went. Um, the Insuring it was weird. Like, I'm just going to say it. It was weird. I moved down to Texas from Kansas. I still had my insurance in Kansas for my vehicle and like my homeowner's insurance and stuff like that. Well, when I went to call them in Kansas and I was like, listen, like I just bought a bus. I want to insure it. Um, this is my plans for the bus. Like I'm not going to use it for anything but personal use as of right now. I wanted to insure it now so that way I didn't have to wait until um, I got the whole thing done to be able to drive it around, go get fuel, have it inspected, everything like that. Well, the insurance company up there, it's the same exact insurance company. I have State Farm, love them, love State Farm, just a disclosure. Um, never had a problem with them. I've been with them for over 20 years. Um, for my vehicle insurance and everything else and I've been through multiple states and had State Farm insurance because they've always they've always done me right so um, luckily they are one of the ones that do do the bus conversion um, set up and stuff like that but I think the insurance lady in Kansas just didn't know enough about how to go about getting the insurance she's like well I don't know how that goes and I'm like well I'm pretty sure you have to call an underwriter because that's their job that's what they do and she just kind of gave me the runaround and it just was like man I know this can be done like I see it done all the time like people have it done all the time so I'm like what's the issue so I came I, I'm living down in Texas now so I went to a local um, state fire agent over here and the lady was absolutely amazing. She's like, that is the coolest thing I heard of, like everything like that. She's like, let me see what we can do for you. And um, within like a couple of days, I had insurance on the bus. It was um, labeled as a commercial vehicle as personal use. So it wasn't like a commercial um, insurance. Um, and they kind of gave me a hard time at first because all the seats were in and everything like that and I was like listen I just basically need to pick up my bus drive it to my house and park it and then I can get the seats out and get the school lettering off of it so they gave me like a it's like a quick pass basically of it wasn't really called a quick pass I don't I don't know the actual terms of it but she said basically we're gonna cover you for your drive from where the bus is now to the house and then if it's not done within I think it was two weeks if that the schooling wasn't off of it like saying it's a school bus and if the seats weren't out of it within two weeks then they would drop me so I was in a panic I was like well shit I gotta get this done I'm working 60 hours a week like trying to get everything done I did it and I had to prove pictures I had to send pictures of everything gone and there's no nothing that says school bus on it anymore I actually had to take the stop sign off that was one of their um, one of their situations not situations but what's the word I'm looking for anyways I had to have that off of the bus in order for them to insure me just so I could use it as a personal use so I finally get that done then I have to go in Texas you have to have it state inspected so then I went over and had it state inspected because you can't register anything until after it's state inspection so after those two weeks it took about two weeks to get all that stuff done. Then I had to take another week for it to go get inspected because you can't just get it done at a regular, like, quick lube place or anything like that. Went to a big rig shop, had it inspected, passed inspection. He said, I'll pass it this time, but next time you're probably gonna need tires. I ended up buying the tires um, 
because they were a lot cheaper than I anticipated them being. So I was like, well, I might as well do it now. Um, gave them business. They were happy that I brought them business because of them inspecting it. And they were really, really nice there. Um, so I got it inspected and finally um, got it registered. Um, and it's registered here as kind of the same way it's insured, which is a school bus as personal use is what it says on my title. So, and then I talked to them about once I get it converted, then they can change the title over to an RV. So still as of now, everything is under a school bus or commercial bus as personal use is how everything's kind of worded. So I guess when you go to get it insured or registered or anything like that, just tell them like if you want it like I do, like if I get hair across my ass and I want to go drive it somewhere, I can still go drive it anywhere I want to um, because it's insured, it's registered. Another reason I did that was because where it's parked is in my mother's yard and it's kind of in a historical society and people are kind of like weirded out that there's a school bus in a yard and they're like I think that's against regulation so I just figured I'm not going to worry about the headache of everyone giving me shit about that so I was like if it's a registered vehicle nobody can really like say anything because it's a registered vehicle so that is my experience with the insurance and registration. Now, how the insurance company works it down here is once I have electricity and running water in my bus, they will consider it an RV. That's how it's done here in this town in Texas. I'm not sure about other states. I don't know how that all works, but that's what the insurance company told me that once it has in, once it has the running water and power that they will register as an RV. I mean, they will insure as an RV. Now, the registration is much different. I can't register it as an RV until water's in it, the electric's in it, and I go weigh it. And it has to be at least 75% complete. So that's how it is in Texas, in this part of Texas. So I'm not quite sure how it is um, on the other, like I said, in other states or how other states have their rules and regulations. Um, so the price of insurance, I have a good record. I have a very clean record, like no speeding tickets, anything like that. Knock on wood because like I try to be safe. Um, and I have my CDL, so I don't want to mess that up. Um, so the way... I forgot, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, I can't even remember what I was gonna say. Holy moly. Um, but yeah, like in order to get it all registered and, oh, insurance, the price, the price of insurance. Okay, that's where we were at. Um, I pay on top of my car insurance and my homeowner's insurance that I have, I started paying an extra $45 a month for the bus. And that is just for liability. That's all they would cover me for is liability. They wouldn't cover me for full coverage. Like say somebody comes in and wipes my bus out. I'm screwed. All this money, all this hard work I've put into my bus, I'm fucked, pretty much. So I guess that's one of my biggest like hurry up and get it done is because once I register as, I mean, insure it as an RV, I can have complete coverage on it for the same price as I'm paying for just liability right now. I mean, I could have gone and had um, full coverage on it um, now, but that would have been $140 extra a month that I'm paying. And I'm not about that life. I don't have that much money. That's why I'm building a school bus. So um, as far as that goes, yeah, the insurance will be the same price as I'm paying now, but then once it's RV, then I will have full coverage. Um, they also told me, I don't know how true this is for everybody else, to always keep your homeowner's insurance because, or runner's insurance, because if somebody breaks into your bus, your vehicle insurance will not pay to replace any of that. However, they, if you have your homeowner's insurance and you have that as your home, then they will replace it. Um, you still have to have your regular receipts, pictures, stuff like that. Um, so I guess my big suggestion to everybody is like along the way, along your build, 
take pictures of everything that you bought them, your receipts, of, keep your receipts of everything you bought them. Just keep track of everything. Like I have this big container here full of receipts. Yes, those are all receipts just for my bus. 90% of them are lows. But always keep everything because that way if you have anything happen ever, you can always fall back on that stuff. So anyways, I've talked long enough about all of this. Um, if you have any questions, if it's about in the state of Texas, maybe I can help you, maybe I can't. I just can go by what my experience has been. Um, I didn't have a video of the bus this week, so that's why I figured I'd kind of go over the insurance and registration of the bus because I didn't want to leave you guys without a video this week because that sucks, it really does. And uh, you know, it's Thanksgiving week. We all want to eat some turkey. I know I'm going to wear my stretchy pants and I'm going to just mow down. So I just hope everyone has a great, safe, and happy holidays. Um, everybody, lots of love. Sending it your way. Have a great day.